One day, a young boy was walking with his grandfather when he saw something he'd never seen before. It was an oddly shaped door. Curious, he asked his grandfather what it was. Why, through there is the Yakko N shop. You can tell by the uniquely round shape of the door. The boy was confused. Oh, gee, son, that door's not round, it's square, he said. Oh, it's round, his grandfather laughed. Oh, gee, son, what's a Yakko N shop? the boy asked. It's a place where you can buy things for 100 yen. There are some things that are a bit more expensive. Those things might cost 200 yen. And the most expensive things usually only cost 300 yen. The boy peered inside as his grandfather spoke. Would you like to look inside? his grandfather asked. The boy's face lit up as he nodded. Laughing, the grandfather took his hand and led him inside. As they entered the store, the boy found himself surrounded by all sorts of strange objects. On his left was what appeared to be a price tag, but it had a strange symbol on it. Oh gee, son, what's that? the boy asked. That's a dollar tag. It's the same as 100 yen. The boy moved to the next object. It was a shelf that looked like the number 35, but to his disbelief, his grandfather laughed when he announced his observation. My boy, that shelf is shaped like the number 5. See how it only holds 5 items? Oh gee, son, the boy called, ignoring him. How come this fan looks so weird? Why, that's a lucky Nana fan. The unique blade shape allows it to deliver 7 times the power of a regular fan. The boy looked impressed. Would you like to try it? The grandfather turned the fan on, and the boy giggled as the air rushed past him. If you think that's impressive, you should check this out, a strange voice called out. Who said that? asked the boy, at the same time as his grandfather called out. Why, if it isn't Nokusan and Hachisan? Nokusan and Hachisan were rather frightening looking, thought the boy. Nokusan looked almost like Santa san except for the tattoos on his arms. However, Hachisan looked cold and mean, and he was glaring at the boy. The boy found Rokusan's six tattoos and Hachisan's eight-foot-long mustache rather terrifying. Rokusan dragged them over to the back wall, grinning. Curious, the boy followed with his grandfather, then gasped when he saw the fan. It was massive, taking up the entire back wall. This is our latest addition, the patent-pending towering tow fan, said Rokusan. It delivers a full ten times more power than the Lucky Nana, making it the most powerful fan on the market. Let me show you how it works. There was a small click and the fan started up with a hum. The hum turned to a roar, and the boy felt himself lifted up in the air and thrown backwards. He screamed as he flew, then gasped in pain as he hit a shelf. Above his head, two small objects shook so badly that he thought they would fall. One was a figure of a man, happily chasing a 10,000 yen bill. The other was an expensive-looking temple. Careful! Nokusan screamed. Ichiman Enman is worth 10,000 yen! And the sundial is set to tell the proper time! The boy began to sob. Whoa, hey, are you okay? Nokusan asked. Please stop crying. The boy began to hiccup, but he didn't want to be seen crying in public. <laughs> Sorry, he sniffed. It's all right, Nokusan said, uncomfortable. Why don't you just go wait over by those four windows while we talk to your grandpa? The boy wiped his nose on his sleeve, then headed towards the windows. Also, try not to touch anything. Your hands are all covered in snot, Nokusan called after him. The boy stared out the window, dejected, then started as he noticed something. He leaned as far forward as the glass would allow, then jumped up excitedly and called his grandfather. Oh geez, Sam, what's that? he asked. The boy pointed to an odd structure in the park across the street. Oh, that's the new Q-Man slide they built. Now nine kids can slide at the same time, Nokusan whispered into his ear. It's much more efficient than the old one-man slides, said Nokusan. Startled, the boy spun around, wondering when Nokusan had appeared but he quickly turned his attention back to the slide. The boy started to bounce in excitement. Can I try, Oji-san? Please? His grandfather smiled at him. I suppose so. Just be careful crossing the street. I will. Thanks, Oji-san. The boy ran from the store straight to the park, more excited than he'd been all day. But when he finally arrived at the slide, he felt his heart sink. It cost 1,000 yen to slide. Upset, the boy swore he would never again return to the bizarre Hyakuen shop.